Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Good to, could do, uh, sorry to say good to see you, but I'm not seeing you. Uh, good to be seen. Uh, I would tell you this is the first time I've been outside any longer than about five minutes uh, over the last several weeks, and it is hot out here. So I'm gonna be as quick as I can so that I can get back into the air condition. Um, but feeling better, glad to be with you, glad to have opportunity to be with you. Thank you all so much for your prayers and your texts and your calls. Um, they, have meant the world, mean the world. Um, love you all so much. Thank you so much. Um, we do continue to pray for all of you as well. So I uh, look forward to being back together real soon. Um, just can't wait to see all you guys soon. Um, restore groups. We're going to get back together. We still got a little while before we'll get back together, but we are. Um, got a lot of things around that that I'd love to share with you. We're going to do just a quick, uh, I got a quick thing I want to talk to you about today and then follow up in the next couple of days with some other things. But uh, as I've reflected over the last couple of weeks, over the last few days, especially with a couple of things, um, there are two things that have become really, really, uh, in some cases, almost painfully obvious to me personally. Um, number one is that no matter how long we've been doing this rest re restore or recovery ministry, no, no matter how long we've been in this thing, um, we are all in constant need of restoration and renewal. Um, yeah, we, I'm subject to a bad day every day, it just depend, you know, to the extent that I get in God's way, you know, so we're just constantly in need of, of renewal and restoration and to be in this together, to do it together. So that's, that's one, that's, that's one of the things that I've been really been thinking on. And number two is this idea of just really getting back to simple. Um, I have said for as long as I've been talking to you guys that the foundation of restoration of everything we do has got to be time at the feet of Jesus. It's time in Jesus's presence. Um, that, that is the foundation. That That's as simple as it gets. It really, really is simple. We just make it so much more difficult. Um, simple doesn't necessarily mean easy, um, but, uh, but we do tend to make it a lot harder than it has to be. One of those things, um, I had an opportunity over the last couple of weeks to, to be inside and I look around and we've just got so much junk. Let's face it, it's junk. We've got stuff all over the place. We've got stuff that uh, Julie said a while ago, there's bins in a hall closet that we don't even know what's in those bins. So, uh, so I started thinking about that and, and what we do, we just, we looked at stuff. We looked at things to fulfill us, to satisfy us, to comfort us. All the things that we ought to be looking to Jesus for, we look for in everything else. So uh, I just, as I'm looking around at all this stuff, I'm thinking this really is kind of an outward display of an interior condition. Um, it's kind of a statement of my mental health, my emotional health, but more importantly, my spiritual health. I've got all this stuff. What value does it really add? How, what, where does it fulfill in my life? So, so while looking for all of those things, we've, we've looked elsewhere <laughs> other than Jesus. Um, so I found myself, um, following and reading some of the minimalist guys, um, great stuff they've got. Um, I'm not selling everything and going off the grid yet. Uh, got to get Julie's permission for that first. And I don't think she's quite ready for that, but, uh, um, we're just looking at getting rid of stuff is, is what it comes down to. And, and they've got a 30 day minimalist game and we are starting that game today. Julie and I are with the girls, Kelly and Karis are doing it too. And we want to invite you in to do that with us. Um, challenge you and invite you in to do that. The way it goes is first day, you get rid of one thing. Day two, get rid of two things. By day 30, you're getting rid of 30 things in one day. By the end of 30 days, you will have gotten rid of almost 500 things. Now here, it's it's great to get rid of stuff. And when I say get rid of, it's throw it away, sell it, give it away, whatever it is, but it's just out of your life at the end of the day, at the end of that day. Um, so there's 500 things that we have intentionally looked at and said, what value does this have? 
What meaning does this add to my life? What, what fulfillment does this give me? And when I look at it that way, it's a whole lot easier to let go of those things. Because this, yes, it is about um, getting rid of stuff. It's not about making room for more stuff. It's about making room for more Jesus. It's about getting rid of all of those things that are distracting us, that are that are burdening us in some cases. Sometimes we think we're we're getting fulfillment and relief and comfort from something, and it's actually become a burden to us. So we're going to be trying this challenge, uh, game challenge, however you want to look at it, in a game. We're going to call it a game so that we're not quite as hard and fast on the rules because even like today, I'm going to do something a little bit different than just one thing. I will have one physical thing, but I'm going to delete all the games that are on my phone because they're a distraction. So um, I'm going to do that today. Uh, we'll start a Facebook group to encourage each other, to share with each other in this journey, um, and just kind of share some thoughts. So let me know if you're interested in joining us. We'll put that out there. Um, I, just, I think it's a great way for us to be intentional about more Jesus, about spending time in his presence. And it gives us an opportunity to, to literally look at something and say, is this more important than Jesus in my life? If not, I need to let it go really a whole lot more that we can let go of if that's the case. But anyway, be back in touch with you on this. We'll do Facebook, however we want to get together um, and got some other stuff coming your way. Uh, let me know if you're interested. So, so good to be with you. Look forward to seeing you. Love y'all so much. Thank you. Take care. God bless.